I'm Tom Brislin. I play keyboard for the band Kansas, and today we're talking about the Hammond B3X organ, software instrument from IK Multimedia. This thing is great. With Kansas on stage, I am fortunate to be playing a Hammond and a Leslie speaker, but we know that sometimes that's not available, so the B3X has you covered. This is a really great sounding and powerful plugin. It can also be run standalone. It's great in the studio and it can be used pretty well live too. I'd like to talk about some of my favorite aspects of the B3X and how I use them. The front page has the familiar layout of the B3, all the features that you come to expect, the drawbars, chorus vibrato, the percussion, Leslie speed. But the first thing I go for is in the advanced functions, and you pick the model of organ. And this is pretty cool. There are four different Hammond organs that you can start with. A 56 B3, a 55 B3, a 1971 A100, or a 1960 A100. Even though two of them are listed as A100s, in case you don't know, they have the same components as a B3, only they had different cabinetry and uh, a built-in stationary speaker. So for our purposes here, the differences aren't relevant, but basically the newer the organ, the brighter it is, and the older the organ, the, the mellower it is, but it's a little more nuanced than that. But I like to start here with what kind of organ that I wanna use. What kind of sound am I going for? Am I going for a more vintage tone or something that really has rock bite to it? The advanced controls are really a way for you to customize the organ sound with controls that you don't actually see on a B3 like the level of key click and the generator leakage. This is all to really customize your sound, but I use it a lot. When I was recording with Kansas for our new album, The Absence of Presence, in the studio, they had an old Hammond B2 organ, which had spring reverb added and percussion added. I made good use of that reverb, and I'm really happy to see that with the B3X, they have a nice spring reverb in the stomps section. So this is like a pedal board that you can use. You can add overdrive or EQ or wah or chorus. Spring reverb before the amps is very cool because that's how it was in the studio on the real thing. You can make the reverb swirl around in the Leslie sound if you're changing speeds fast and slow. So I really am happy to, to see that you have that option of putting the reverb before the Leslie. If that's not your vibe and sometimes I need a different sound, you can go to the post effects and use a studio reverb, which comes after the amps, the Leslie or the guitar amp, if you want to use that. So that's a really cool option to have. Same thing with the EQ. You can add this EQ81, which is like a studio EQ, after everything, the organ, the stomp boxes, the amps. Or if you go back to the stomp section, adding EQ there can drive the amps a little bit more. You can drive the Leslie. And look, even in the Leslie and the guitar amps, there's EQ there. So there's so many stages where you can sculpt the tone depending on what you're looking for. I also like how you can get really strong sounds out of this. Uh, for the song, The Absence of Presence, I play a Hammond organ solo that really needs to cut through the band, and I can create that sound easily on the B3X. Throw in the chorus and vibrato, I also like that you can customize the amount and the intensity of that chorus vibrato because every organ is a little bit different with that. Again, I can use overdrive from the stomps if I want to, or even use the EQ to push the Leslie cabinet. can mix in a little bit of guitar amp if I'm feeling it. And I also really enjoy the Leslie 147 sound, so I'm, I'm happy to see that that option is there. I also like that you can mix and match the amps and the cabinets, which is something that's not easy to do in the real world. But yeah, you can really drive this Leslie. And in the post effects, that limiter 76, you can you can really crush it if you want to, or use it in a more subtle way, but it can really add another level of oomph to the sound. But if you just want to plug and play, you can do that too. I've created a bank of custom presets from Kansas sounds, Yes sounds, some of my own sounds, and they're now included with the B3X. Please check it out and have fun.